Do not say his name three times. Beetlejuice is alive and well in bread form and on display. KDK's Alexandra Todd shares why everyone's flaking out. Beetlejuice has officially risen from the dead, literally. Weighing in at 140 pounds, measuring four feet wide and four feet tall, the life-size Beetlejuice bread sculpture is on display just in time for spooky season at Mancini's Bread in the Strip District. Owner Nick Mancini Hartner has always brought his imagination to life through dough. Grew up in the bakery, and so when I was a little kid, my mom used to bring home bread dough, and that was like our Play-Doh. I you know, used to make little shapes, and we would bake them and eat them. Since then, he's created artistic bread masterpieces to entice people walking by to come into the store. I think for the holidays, start doing bread art, trying to figure out a new way for like people to interact with the bakery and bread. And then this kind of like art form was born. And so I just keep pushing the limits, making it bigger, better, and trying to be like more specific. Paint it with something. I was thinking about trying to like throw a terrible towel in. Mancini Hartner thought with the new Beetlejuice movie starring one of our own, Michael Keaton, honoring him and Doe just seemed like the right thing to do. Halloween Beetlejuice movie just came out uh, and Michael Keaton obviously is from Pittsburgh. Painting helps pull it out so like people can see what I see. In, in the end, I love it. I, I kind of criticize my own work, but like, but at the same time, you know, it's exciting to see and I love to see people's smiles and reactions when they come into the bakery. The artistic toast is being coated with olive oil every three days to keep from drying out and is 100% edible. A sign outside lets people know they can snap a picture with brettle juice inside. The bread sculpture will be up throughout Halloween until the end of the month until it literally crumbles apart. So be sure to come to the strip and see it. In the Strip District, Alexandra Todd, KDK TV News.